Today, let's talk about the commutative property. Now we say addition and multiplication are commutative because we can reverse the order of two numbers being added or multiplied without changing their result. So for any two numbers a and b, we have a plus b equals b plus a, and we also have a times b equals b times a. So addition and multiplication are commutative. What about subtraction and division? Are they? Well, the answer is no. And we can see this with our numbers down here. So let's take two and three. We have two plus three equals three plus two. We also have two times three equals three times two, but we do not have two minus three equals three minus two, and we do not have two over three equal to three over two. So that was the commutative property. Let's see the associative property. Now let's talk about the associative property. So the associative property for addition tells us that for any three numbers a, b, and c, it doesn't matter in which order we add them up. So we can add a and b together first, and then add c afterwards. That'll give us the same result if we add b and c together first, and then add a afterwards. We can even see this with numbers down here, because 2 plus 3, which is 5, plus 4 equals 9. That gives the same result as 3 plus 4 first, which is 7, plus 2, which is 9. Similarly, for multiplication, it doesn't matter if we multiply a and b together first, and then c afterwards, or b and c together first, and then a afterwards. The answer will be the same. And once again, with 2, 3, and 4, we can see 2 times 3, which is 6, times 4 equals 24. That's the same as 3 times 4, which is 12, times 2, which is 24. So that was the associative property. Now that we've learned both the commutative and associative property, let's see how we can use them. So the commutative and associative properties allow us to rearrange numbers which simplifies calculations and helps save us some time. So as you can see, in this first problem, we have 32 plus 163 minus 31. Now, of course, you can just go from left to right if you want to. You'd still get the correct answer, but the commutative and associative properties just makes things easier for us and makes things quicker. So let's see how it works. So by the commutative property, we know that 32 plus 163 is the same as 163 plus 32. And of course, we can't forget about our minus 31 at the end, right over there. Now by the associative property, we can add the last two terms together first, instead of the first two terms. So it would be like this, 163 plus 32 minus 31 first, and this, this is easy. That is just one, we can do it in our heads. So what we're really doing is we're just adding one to 163, and that is 164. Now, of course, that gives the same answer if we just went from left to right, because 32 plus 163 is 195 minus 31. That does give 164, but the commutative and associative properties just made things easier for us, and we found the answer much quicker. Now, of course, as you get better, you don't have to show this much work all the time. You know, you don't have to say, I use the commutative property here and then the associative property here. You can just rearrange it all in your head. I just wanted to break it down and show you what's really going on because this is what you're really doing. But of course, you don't have to show this much work all the time. In fact, I'm not going to show this much work from now on. I'm just going to rearrange things because we know we can from our two helpful and very useful properties. So in this question, 7 times 192 times 1 over 7 can be better rearranged like so.
because we know that the sevens will cancel. And we're just left with a final answer of 190. So 536 minus 144 plus 145 minus 533, instead of going from left to right, we have a better way of rearranging this to make our lives easier, so let's do it. The better way to rearrange this would be to group the two 500 terms together and the two 100 terms together because they are so close within each other. Now, this is easy. Three and one give a final answer of four. You can see that is a much faster way. It would have taken us way longer if we just went from left to right. So thank you to the commutative and associative properties. For this question, 97 times 1 over 43 times 3 over 97 times 43. Let's rearrange things to make things a little bit easier for us to see. Because we get this. A whole bunch of cancellation and the final answer is three. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you saw how we took those two simple but very powerful concepts and applied them because that is what math is all about, taking very simple things and doing extraordinary things with them. That is what this channel is all about. So I hope you're excited because I am. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.